Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a vlog with a bit of a haul thrown in as well. I um, haven't done a vlog in a really long time and I feel like I want to get back into it because yeah, I really miss doing these vlogs for you guys and I don't know why I fell out of the habit of doing it, but anyway. So um, I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you as well that I went and bought yesterday and it's Christmas stuff and it's Halloween stuff, but I didn't want to put up a whole, like just a haul because I wanted to have a chat with you and you know, walk around the house and stuff like that. I've been out for breakfast this morning with the staff members from my work. Yes, yeah, so I've had a breakfast out at a cafe this morning and I had eggs benedict and a coffee and I'm feeling very sort of <laughs> heavy after that. So I feel like I need to recover from it before I start my cleaning routine. What's up with you guys? I don't really have... Oh, do you know what? I suppose I do have some news to share. This is why I miss vlogging. I feel like I don't get to chat to you guys very often anymore and it makes me really excited for Vlogmas this year because hopefully I'm going to be doing Vlogmas again this year. I'm having a few troubles with my computer though. Like it's really getting quite old now and um, it's all like it, the, I've cleaned it out and everything but it's still not got a lot of storage on it. Um, I use iMovie to edit all my vlogs and videos and everything and it's a really old, like it won't let me update the I, iMovie software because my computer is so old, it doesn't have the um, like latest operating system. And I can't do the latest operating system because it's so old. So it's all just a big mess. I've been using um, Joe's computer to try and to do my editing for the last few videos that I've done. And it is so much better. Like his computer isn't even that much newer than mine, but it's obviously new enough to have the correct operating system and all that kind of thing on it. So, um, we're in the works trying to get me a new computer. Well, like a new to me computer will be a secondhand one, but newer than the one I've already got. And if that happens, then yes, Vlogmas will definitely be on. Um, if it doesn't happen, I'm going to try my very, very hardest. We'll see how we go. It might be like a, I don't know. I'm not going to make any promises about anything unless I get my new computer. But I do have some exciting news for you. And I didn't want to say anything until it was confirmed just in case. But, um, and it's still a while away. So yeah, I don't know. Shall I just say it? I just don't want to jinx it, but... What are you doing? You want the puzzle? I can get you the puzzle. Oh. Ah. So, my exciting announcement is that we are getting a new pet cat. Um, I'm so excited. Um, I probably, if you've watched me for a while, you'll know that um, we used to have a cat called Rosie. I've had her since, well, I had her since I was, I think, 16 or 17. I can't remember, like one of the two. Um, sort of those last couple of years in high school, I got her. And um, she died probably coming up to two years ago now. Um, I am a complete cat person. Like I get so, I get so clucky over cats rather than babies. It's so funny. I get so excited. So I probably would have gone to get a new cat already by now. I would have liked to have gone to a shelter and rescue one, but Joe is actually allergic to cats. Um, so he can't really deal in, he loves cats as well. He's a cat person, but he can't um, really deal with just sort of your regular domestic um, short hair cats or anything like that. Like something you would find at a shelter. Done a bit of research and um, we've realized that he's actually okay with ragdoll cats. When we went to that farm stay in July, I think it was, they had a whole bunch of farm cats there and the majority, like, I think they had about three or four ragdolls and he was absolutely fine with them. So I think he must be allergic to the dander of a cat rather than the saliva because um, there's two different allergies. <laughs> Sorry. Owen's in my lap. <laughs> Are you right? Whoop, 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 whoop. So as far as I know, there's two different allergies you can have to cats and one is to the dander, like the fur, and the other is to a, I don't know, a hormone or a chemical in their saliva. Um, and it appears that Joe must be allergic to the dander. Um, because yeah, he's fine with the rag dolls there. He was fine with my our previous cat, Rosie her name was, um, and I think she actually may have had a bit of ragdoll in her, just the way that her her fur was and <laughs> and her temperament and everything was uh, similar to a ragdoll, it was completely different colourings, obviously she wasn't a purebred or anything, but um, <laughs> yeah, I suspect I know she might have you, had... I know you. Hi. Hey. So a few months ago, so right after we had the um, the farm stay in July, I made some inquiries with a couple of the shelters just to see if they ever had rag dolls come through. And apparently it was very rare and um, they sort of got snapped up immediately. So didn't have any luck with that. So we have gone through a breeder. We are getting a kitten and we're getting a female as well because, again, apparently the male cats are more likely to 
you know, be, have the saliva gene. Or I don't know what it is. If it's, a, a, I don't know if it's a hormone or what it is, but the males are more likely to have it in their saliva than a female w would. And the dander, I think, doesn't make much difference between males and females. But I just wanted to sort of make it as likely as possible that Joe would be okay with this cat, um, since he has to live with it and it will be an indoor. Cat. I don't like having cats outdoors just because of what they do to the wildlife in the air. Can you hear? Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you can understand what I'm saying, and this isn't too distracting for you. But um, yeah, we're getting a female. She has been born already. She's a few weeks old at this point. Um, we'll be getting her mid-December. So if I do end up doing Vlogmas, you obviously get to see all of that. We are so excited though, like both myself and my husband, like I say, we are cat people anyway. Um, the kids, Taylor remembers our last cat, Rosie, but um, they didn't really get on all that well. <laughs> She liked it anything, but Rosie was a quite, um, you know, she was a typical cat. She sort of wanted affection when she wanted it, not when anyone else wanted it. And she was in her last sort of year or so of her life. She did sort of start to go a little bit different to how she was the rest of her life. So um, Taylor remembers her, but, and fond she does remember her fondly and she gets sad when she thinks about when she died, but um, they didn't have a huge connection or bond or anything. And Owen obviously was too little to remember um, Rosie in particular, but he loves animals. So he is so excited. When we had that ragdoll at the farm stay, it actually, like I said, it was a farm cat. So it was, you know, wandering around everywhere, but it would come up to our little chalet and wait for us to let it in and it actually ended up sleeping on our bed for one of the nights that we were there and it was I was I just loved it I was so excited <laughs> I just love cats but um yeah Owen just loved it he was like oh where's the cat where's the cat the whole time we we're at the farm and just I'm really excited to see him with a cat with a pet it's just really he's gonna love it and I know and Taylor will love it so hopefully it all goes smooth sailing from here on out we've paid our deposit the we know which kitten we're getting so we just now have to wait for the kitten to have her vaccinations we also have to wait for her to get neutered as well so that'll happen before we pick her up and she has to heal and everything so she'll be about 12 weeks old when we pick her up and that will be sort of mid-December I'm guessing it may be I'm thinking around sort of the 15th is what I'm thinking, but we'll see. Um, we'll see what the breeder says. It would just be nice to have a pet again in the family. It was, I suppose, quite easy to not have a pet for the last couple of years because when we go away, which not we don't go away often, but when we do, we've not had to think about that. Um, you know, just not having to buy pet food and dealing with the, um, the litter box and everything has been nice, I guess. But um, yeah, it'll be really nice to have a pet in the family again. I do miss that. Um, Owen, Owen, I best go and play with this little boy because he's getting a little bit, he's obviously wanting my attention. <laughs> so, um, yes, I'll come back in a little bit and I'll show you the things that I bought from, where did I go yesterday? Target and BW, I think most of it is from, maybe some Kmart stuff. I'll show you when we get back. So I got this new welcome mat from BW yesterday. I haven't put it outside yet because I need to move the other one. Um, but how cute is it? It's obviously black and says trick or treat with a little pumpkin on it. And it was $10, which I think is a bargain. And there is some fluff stuff on it though here, which I need to get off. Um, I didn't notice that when it was in store, but I'm so obsessed. I love it. So Taylor is definitely my child. These are the pajamas she wore last night and they are Christmas pajamas. She chose to wear them because it's nearly Christmas apparently is what she said. Um, and then this game that she's got going on with her LOL dolls, um, she is doing a Taylor Swift concert game. So apparently this one, Surfer Baby or Surfer Babe or something like that, she is Taylor Swift because her hair looks like it's being flicked around and because she's wearing a sparkling dress. <laughs> So funny, and then I think these ones are the audience, and she keeps like she's got a CD player in here, and she keeps playing the Taylor Swift CD and like stopping it, and then the Taylor Swift doll speaks, and they all clap. It's so funny. Oh my god. Speaking of, the Taylor Swift concert is next week, so it's Friday today. So this time next week we'll be getting ready to go to the concert. I'm so excited! Oh my goodness. It um. Like if you watched my vlogmas last year, that's when I booked the ticket. So it's been like a really long time coming, but so freaking excited at this point. I love Taylor Swift so much. Oh my God. So I'm just going to leave that mess there because she'll play it when she gets home from school today. <laughs> but I just can't believe the concert's so soon. Aww. You can help me, Mom. Yeah, I'll help you. Are you doing cooking? Yeah. Yeah. 
funny. Yeah, you can do any matching pairs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, so Owen seems content playing by himself for like five minutes. I'll quickly show you what I got yesterday when I went shopping. Um, so I got this Christmas tree from Target. It's the T12 and it's the Emerald Pine Christmas tree. It's the 2.13 meter one um seven foot so i pulled it out and made sure that it sort of fit in the space that i've got and it did it was fine um i haven't fluffed it out or anything but it looks pretty good it's going to go here in the front room and then the living room will have the audi christmas tree that i love um, and that will be the main christmas tree but i just threw everything that i bought yesterday in here so i got this sign from bed bath and table which says santa please stop here Super cute, it's really lightweight, um, so it can go on the wall pretty easily. It was, I think, close to $40, where is it? Yeah, $40, which I usually would wait for something like this to go on sale, but they only had a few, and I really feel like these are probably gonna be one of those things that sells out, and then I'd be really sad that I missed out on it. Um, so yeah, I did pay for it. Full price, very unusual, but I do love it, and it's really nice quality. And then I must have been on a sign kick because I also got this one from Kmart, which was much cheaper. I don't think it has the price on it, but I feel like it was under $10. Um, it's a Noel sign. And my original thought was to put it above the stovetop, which is where I have my other Noel sign. Um, but that one's kind of getting a little bit old now. So I wanted a new one, but it doesn't fit. It's like two centimeters like each side um, or one centimeter each side, too big to fit in that space. I'm gonna find a new spot for it this year. Still in the kitchen, I think, and I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. I love the stars. Um, the E is glittery, so all the stars, and then the N and the L, uh, just the wood look. Really cute. I got Taylor um, just some tinsel for her tree in her bedroom. Um, that was big W. And then I think I just got a couple of packs of fairy lights because the ones I had last year were too long. And then I think one of them was cool toned rather than warm and I wanted the warm one. So these ones just are just from Kmart. So they should be all good. And then you can see that's the tree. So it's got this pine on sort of the outer tips of the tree. And then this stuff, which is the really fake looking stuff sort of on the inside of the branches to bulk it out. Um, it was only $79. I thought that was a really good price. I'm pretty sure the Audi one was a little bit cheaper but I think this one's slightly taller. We'll see when I pull them out for Christmas in like a couple of weeks. So I got this cute little Lego set for um, a birthday party that Taylor's going to on the weekend. Um, I thought it was really sweet because it's like a Halloween one. It's got like a little pumpkin, a little, I think he's a Dracula skeleton. Really, really cute. I thought that was appropriate considering the time of year. And then look at the Furby. Owen found my Furby from when I was a kid and I don't think it doesn't work properly anymore. No. Uh, it turns on but then it doesn't talk or anything and it sort of just goes to sleep so creepy ass Furby is there and then uh, a recommendation from one of my subscribers Josh he told me about these pumpkins on eBay so I bought these this is I think I got two packs of them I did I got two packs of them um, and I absolutely love them this is exactly the kind of pumpkins that I wanted um, that I can't find anywhere in any stores nearby to me. So they are made of foam, they are painted, I believe. And then this is a plastic. And if you get really close, I mean, this plastic looks really cheap, but I mean, you're not getting too close to them, are you? It doesn't matter. But I just love the style, I think they're gorgeous. Like, why don't they have more of that kind of stuff in stores? I don't know, why, why would you not have that? Like, they're gorgeous. Why would you not sell those in like your Targets and Kmarts and things here? Now I don't know how it was before. <laughs> I'll have to go back and have a look at how I had it arranged. But yeah, absolutely love that. So it's like 3.30 and I'm absolutely exhausted. I don't know what's going on, but I'm really, really tired. So I think I'm actually going to end this vlog here. I've picked Taylor up from school. Owen is being... He's like a tornado today. Like he literally is just running around destroying everything. So he's had to have a lot of my attention today. I haven't really been on a vlog and I haven't really done much either that was worth chatting about. So can you hear him? He's trying to get some food out of the pantry. What are you doing, mate? He's also very hungry, evidently. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch up with you guys next time. Bye.